I just start with the fourth quarter and and just how you were able to do it. I, the one thing that crossed my mind I was going to ask is, do you feel like everything this team's been through and the experience you have was the difference in in getting this one and and maybe and not? Yeah, no question. Yeah, the the things that the close games we have been in, the times that we've uh, either had a lead or needed to come back, they they start with score stops and scores and stop scores and stops, a drill that we do weekly uh, still, even though we're late in the year. Um, but it, it, that's the that's the advantage of having a bunch of seniors. And you know, listen, I don't count Michaela as a sophomore. She's played as many minutes as most juniors and seniors in the country. So, you know, I was really proud of Aaron coming in there defensively. I thought she made a huge impact in that fourth quarter, uh, making Thompson catch it just a little bit further out. Uh, and then taking it to the rack a couple of times as well. So, yeah, it, it was the difference. And, and I also think, um, you know, it kind of helped us in a way that Mac had been in foul trouble because she didn't play as many minutes and she came and hit those two big threes behind the screen and then got a stop. Uh, and we all know that we're really sensitive to how we are offensively. And once we made a few shots, I thought our defense really got better too. Randy, go ahead. Randy, we got no audio on you for some reason. Yeah, you're off. Let's say maybe we can't hear you, Randy. That beard may be underneath your microphone. And I can't read lips. I'm a horrible lip reader. Maybe you can type it or something. Randy Rainwater, speechless for the first time in recorded history. That's amazing. Hey, can you, one thing, I'll jump in here. Can you talk about Michaela in that fourth quarter? I mean, that's two huge shots and yeah. just what she was able to do for you there. Y'all know her. She's like this. Like, she, you can't tell. She is just like this. She came off fired up. So you could tell, you know, that, and that was good to see. Uh, we work out with it. She's you go into the screen, you fire it, man. She shot that thing with the confidence of a, a veteran, and, and that really sparked us. But no, she was fired up. She was uh, she played with a lot of emotion, uh, which we needed tonight. We we were flat. Uh, it was a, a tough environment on senior night. They they had a uh, it was the longest. It was the longest senior night I've ever seen for one senior. Uh, we didn't get to take the floor until about the four minute mark of warm ups. Uh, after being off the floor for almost 11 minutes. So uh, I'm not not using that as an excuse. I'm just pointing out a fact. But um, I, I thought her energy, and that's a cliche, but her her intensity was really big in that fourth quarter. Yeah, we still haven't got you, Randy. I'm not sure what's going on. Huh. Paul, you got anything else? Yeah, let's uh, just just kind of talk about – I mean, you talk about the, the one senior. I mean, uh, she had a senior effort tonight. I mean, that's something y'all had to overcome, right? Yeah, I know. And, it, you know, it got to a point where it was just they were going to go inside every time, uh, which they did. But I, I thought uh, Aaron met her a little bit earlier, did her work a little bit earlier, which allowed Amber's double team to be a little bit more effective. Uh, we stopped Fowler, and then we boxed her out so she didn't get her, her – she only had three offensive rebounds, okay? That is a win. She had 10 the last time. Um, you know, the 15 defensive, that's because she's so good. But the three is really, really key for us. Um, you know, we had a lot of opportunities to lose that thing. We gave up four free throw box outs. Uh, we had some very uncharacteristic turnovers in the first half, throwing it off each other's chest and face and – you know, doing some uncharacteristic things. But, um, yeah, I, I thought that uh, Unique Thompson is a very, very special player uh, who's been uh, really, really impactful in our league. And I, I still say that they're the best 0-14 team to ever play the game in the SEC. Jason, go ahead. Hey, Coach. Uh, uh, Amber getting back on track offensively and then – Holding them for one for nine, I know you talked about it a little bit, but just how critical that was during that four-minute stretch there going one for nine from the floor. Yeah, it just picked up defensively. It was it, We were contesting on the perimeter. We weren't giving up drives right straight line at the basket, which, you know, sometimes we ended up in and ones. 
but yeah, Amber getting it going offensively, that it it stretches you so much. You know, that clip in the first half of her pulling up in transition one on oh for a three. I've been waiting for her to do that all her whole career. She doesn't practice a lot, but that's just the confidence that kid plays with and she brings us. You know, I just look at the stat sheet and we go five for 13, five for 13, five for 13 between Slocum, Amber, and Chelsea. You know, and, you know, that, what is that, 15 for 39? That's, you know, that's that's not what they normally do. Uh, but they got themselves to the foul line and, and Amber finding those creases with, uh, along the Mac. Um, you know, Jalen's was timely. Uh, Slocum's was early. But uh, 10 out of 23 uh, is going to be a, enough to win most nights. Anyone else for coach? Randy, you want to give us one more try? Strike three. Just how, cri how critical – sorry, go. Go ahead, Jason. How, how critical a win was this? And I know, the, as we talked about the other day, just trying to stack these up and not having a bad loss, you know, down the stretch. You answered my. You answered it right there. That's what it would have been, you know, mathematically. It wouldn't have necessarily felt like that because I, I've got a lot of respect for Auburn. But, you know, it would have given the committee reason to, to take us out of the conversation. Um, they, they moved the uh, reveal up to 5 o'clock, I saw, on Sunday. I think we tip at 5. So uh, I got to think we've got ourselves in the conversation for being one of the, the top 16 seeds, uh, the way we've been playing down the stretch and, and what we've done, the body of work. Uh, the number of top 50 and 100 opponents that we played. I'll be really interested at tip. I'll be I'll be looking at Mario. Oh, I'll be kind of cutting my eyes to see if we're in it. Whether we are or not, that's fine. I know that we're in the conversation, and, and that's a really, really cool place to be. And, yeah, Jason, this a loss here would have eliminated that from a possibility, which would have been the end of the season. Uh, but I think that Alabama win. They lost tonight. They lost. So I think if I look at it right, we're playing for that maybe five or six, the sixth seed. Six seven on Sunday, and after the what well, you know that atmosphere that our men had for the Alabama game, I hope we can get something similar to that for our seniors on Sunday. Anybody else for coach? Randy, call me tomorrow. I'll, I'll hop on there with you. Coach, what was the um, the locker room like at at halftime and then after the game? There was no locker room. I don't let them. The locker room here was about the size of my first two apartments in Seattle. I could touch the wall on both sides with my hand and my foot. So uh, we had a makeshift area set up down in the, in the tunnel. And I told the, a couple of my card council kids as we were walking off the court that we, the coaches weren't coming in there until the very last second. Y'all get down there and talk to each other. Don't wait for us. Y'all talk to us and get this thing talked about before we get in there. I want to know what y'all talked about. And as soon as I walked in, they had some really good answers. We had about a minute conversation, and then it was back to the floor. So. Uh, that was a team team led deal. Uh, by this time of the year, if it's not a if it's still a coach led team, we're in some serious trouble. And it was a player led discussion and player led results. So halftime was disjointed uh, but effective. Uh, and then the last quarter, the last the timeout and the, going into that fourth quarter was was very cohesive, uh, not disjointed. Uh, and, and that was the first time all night I really felt like we had a chance to win was after that, after we broke that huddle in that timeout or that uh, change of quarters. All right, everybody, we'll go ahead and end it there. Thanks.